This video will show you how to use QWISC with your Hermes Light 2. You can download QWISC from this site, and it comes in versions that run on both Linux and Windows. And there's also good instructions on this site for how to build and install QWISC on your system. Some Linux distributions will have QWISC in the repository, but I recommend that you use QWISC from this site as you'll get a recent version of QWISC and some features in the Hermes Light 2 may depend on a recent version of QWISC. Here I've installed QWISC on a Linux system and I'm going to start it for the very first time. QWISC uses the notion of radios. These are configurations for different radios you might use and we have to set up a configuration for the Hermes Light 2. Here uh, I'm in the config screen and I'll click on the radios tab and I'm going to add a new radio with the general type of Hermes and I'll call it HL2. Now, when I restart QWISC, it's going to start with the HL2 radio. But before we restart, let's go through and configure this particular radio uh, for the HL2. Here there are several configuration tabs for a radio, and we'll go through them all. In the first hardware tab, uh, we will change the clock frequency to 76.8 MHz which is what the HL2 uses. I don't think this is connected anywhere in QWISC yet, but I think it's good practice to set it up correctly. There are also settings for the Hermes code version and Hermes board ID. These are two numbers that the Hermes Light 2 sends when it's connected to. And you can restrict QWISC to uh, connect to a particular Hermes. But for now we will use negative one so that will connect to anything uh, announcing itself as Hermes. This controls the initial LNA setting uh, for the Hermes Light 1 and 2. This enables the BIOS adjust, which we will see how to do later. For now, we'll leave it false. Um, and we'll uh, not enable the power amp. And we'll uh, disable TNR and low power set to false. Uh, since this is a QRP radio, I set my digital TX power to 100%. The Hermes Light 2 will obtain its IP from DHCP, so we'll leave this blank. But if you do have a static IP, this is where you would enter it. For the sound tab, one thing that always uh, trips me up with QWISC is that in order for transmit to work you have to have an input device specified. So here I'm going to select um, the default pulse device for both input and output. For digital modes you won't be able to transmit also unless you have an in input device specified. Uh, QWISC will not warn you that no device is specified, it will just behave as if uh, it's transmitting with no signal. Under options, I will leave all of these at their default. Remote, default also. Windows, you can change the startup size of the window. Timing, we'll leave as default. Controls, um, I'm going to enable the full duplex button because Hermes Light 2 will operate in full duplex mode and it's useful for observing your own uh, TX signal. Uh, fonts, we'll leave that as default and bands. I'm sorry there's a little bit of sluggishness I'm using an SD card we can take a look at uh, the band settings here and I'm going to configure this to use the N280R filter card. 
And for that filter card, on 160 meters, we have this filter engaged. 80 meters, we have this filter engaged. And we have the um, high pass filter to cut out AM stations on um, receive. Uh, 60 meters, we have this filter, and 40 meters also. Uh, 30 and 20 meters share the next filter. Then we have 17 and 15. And finally, um, 12 and 10. Now there's also another default setting here that I change, and this is um, the power output. It's limited to 120 here. Um, this I also set to max for all bands. Um, I think this is primarily useful when you have a a power uh, external power amplifier connected, and you want to control how much drive you are sending to that. Okay, so I think I have it completely set up. Um, there's nothing to save. I don't need to go and hit a save button, and I just need to restart it to connect to my Hermes Light 2. So I'll go ahead and quit, and then um, I'll restart it. And uh, sure enough, I have a signal here. You know, I'm still, my default frequency selection is zero hertz, so I'll go to the 20 meters band. I have an antenna connected there. Uh, you can see my temperature reading is sending some temperature data. Uh, there's no current being sent yet to the uh, power amplifier. Uh, let's go down to where there might be some more interesting activity at this time. Uh, here's some CW and uh, FT8 digital modes. Um, so let's go ahead and run through some of the controls you could use with the Hermes Light 2. Uh, this is the RF LNA, and remember there was that default value of 20 dB uh, for startup, and we could change that. You know this this can control how much amplification you have, and if you get too too high amplification and so on, you will eventually see um, clipping occurring. I'm able to push this way up because I have a uh, a Z match connected to my antenna, and I also have the high pass filter engaged with the filters. It's interesting to see with the band scope here if I enable the band scope you can kind of see where signals are coming through so in the 20 meter band area and um, also here my Z match is not a perfect bandpass filter and you noticed here we see these lines every so often this is something that um, Claudio pointed out one time we haven't yet figured out it seems like this is this is worse than usual um, maybe there's some noise in my area at this time okay um, also we want to test that uh, transmit is working so I'll go to CW and um, remember we haven't enabled the power amplifier yet um, I'm gonna click on spot and uh, the it allows me to adjust the level. I'm going to put that to the full amount. Then I'm going to go to uh, full duplex. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, transmit. And so here you notice that there is a transmit signal. I'll adjust the... We can see a lower noise floor there. And um, that shows me that uh, low power transmit is working. I actually have nothing connected to the 
a low power transmit output here but um that's okay and this is just ambient pickup now i should be able to go and test that the um tx levels are working or the tx gain settings are working also so um you notice here i have a measurement of my tx power if i go to the config screen um under config there are some other interesting settings uh, one of them is the tx level so i can adjust this and as i pull this down you notice that uh, the signal gets weaker and it should vary about by about 7 db and we have about 7 db range with this setting in the hermes light 2 and i'm using cw which is uh going to respond to the tx level if i were using a digital mode then i would use this digital slider and notice that i had set digital to um, full power during the configuration uh, if i hadn't done that then my digital tx modes would only be limited to a top of 20 percent of the maximum so i'll go ahead and stop transmitting um, another interesting thing here is the sample rate and here you can choose from the sample rates for the receiver uh, that the Hermes Light 2 supports. So I'm using the narrowest frequency spectrum here of 48. That was the default. It starts up with, um, you can change to a higher rate. Okay, so I think that covers the basic usage of QWISC. And in the next video, we will learn how to set the PA bias.